Embracing Nature Systems. This presentation gives a brief introduction to the physical background of microwave radio making, followed by the analyzation of paper developing a cost-effective radio meter for fireball light curves. Radiometer is the passive measurement of the electromagnetic radiation, which is either emanated or reflected from all materials. In the microwave radio, we mostly measure the noise power instead of voltage or current, and therefore, a microwave radiometer can be characterized as a low noise, highly amplifying frequency corrective power meter. At microwave frequency, the noise power is proportional to the physical temperature of either an electronic resistor following the nitric flow or of thermally radiating matter following the Rayleigh Gene flow. The chemical and physical properties of matter, like the permittivity, surface roughness, and the shape of an object, and the measurement parameters like frequency, polarization, and viewing angle, are mathematically incorporated in the quantities of emissivity, reflectivity, and transmissivity. The energy that is received by a radiometer from an object is due to the combination of the apparent temperature of the object, the apparent temperature reflected by the object, and the apparent temperature transmitted through the object. Today, in principle, three radiometer imaging methods are considered. The first, most practical one, is based on a line scanner approach, and is relatively easy to implement. It has strong limitations concerning the real-time imaging, the spatial resolution, and the field of view. The second, more innovative method is called the aperture sinusoid, using interferometric techniques. It offers higher resolution, larger field of views, and real-time capability at the cost of much more expense. The third principle uses a focal plane array and a focusing aperture, and in many optical systems. Thus, real-time imaging is possible, but for certain technologies, high-resolution systems with larger field of views are appreciated with a high expense. For aperture sinusoids and focal plane array, the data of the system is also more complicated. However, both techniques are subject of actual research. The third principle is applied in paper developing a cost-effective radiometer for fireball light curves. This paper was submitted to the proceeding of the International Media Conference in 2018, Visenov, Slovakia. Basically, fireball light curves can give insight into the meteor ablation process, which happens to the, due to the great release of energy caused by a shock wave produced in the air ahead of the meteorite as it approaches Earth. Due to the often very rapid period of ablation in the upper atmosphere, the light intensity of a meteor can be difficult to characterize using solely photographic means. So the objective of the paper was to collect radiometric data on fireballs across a wide spectral range at a thousand samples per second, with sensitivity to a large dynamic range, while maintaining a low cost and the ability to operate in all weather conditions. Now let's start talking about the design of our application. Our goals for the radiometer were set to have 24 bit resolution and a large dynamic range and minimum sampling rate. We will apply this through six steps. First one is collection method. We would use silicon photodiodes as they pass a very low dark current and high speed response and show high applicability to the project. And finally, the irradiance of a fireball as a function of apparent magnitude can be calculated by the, by the equation of E equal 1200 times 2.5 power negative 26.7 of apparent magnitude. Then we move to the next step of amplifying the signal and also to convert the current signal coming from the photodiode into voltage. 
the magnitude of the output signal to the parent magnitude of a photodiode is drawn on the next graph. Then the third step is to convert this analog signal to integers using analog to digital converter to store the voltage signal produced by the amplifier. And finally, to go through the, the, to go through the design criteria of low cost and USB accessibility, we need Arduino Micro to communicate with the radio meter through the analog to digital converter and assembled prototype can be so can be seen in the next figure. And due to the large collection area and amplification method, it's able to reliable sample light signal with with a range 0.4 to negative 26.9. And the light curve of a lighting strike plotted against the seconds from starting time is shown in the next graph. So the proposed design criteria for the project were meant to produce apparent magnitude calibrated light curves to satisfactory standards.